Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Ulmesha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to swap between the sheets using parameters. So this swapping is actually gives a toggle effect to your dashboard where you give a user a flexibility that they can choose whichever the values from the parameter and they get the respective view on the dashboard. So here is our problem statement that we need to give a user a flexibility that they can choose whichever the chart they want to have it on this dashboard in a view. So using this swapping between the sheets uh, by parameter, we will create this and solve this problem statement. So for that, I have used a sample superstore data set and based on that three different sheets I have created. Number one is a bar chart. And here I have used a shift mode and a quantity based on which this whole bar chart, nothing fancy, simple, straightforward bar chart have been created. Then one more, which is a line chart where I have used the ship date and the quantity as a measured field. And based on that, a monthly continuous line chart I've created. And the third is a state map where built on the basis of the quantity and the division colors that whichever the highest uh, number of sales we had from the state is being uh, darkened in color, which is red right now as a California. So that's how simple three different charts I have prepared. And uh, this is again, a sample superstore. So you can also do along with me. And using the three charts, I want to give user that flexibility. So for that first, uh, we need to create a parameter because our whole statement is swapping between the sheets using parameter. So for that, let's go to this more option and here click on parameter and I'll name this parameter as a swap parameter and I'll change the data type and make it string and in the allowable value, click on list and for bar chart, I'll give it a value as a bar. It will display as bar here. For the line chart, I'll name it line. It will display as line chart. And for map is a map chart. For that is a display map. So that's how our three values I have prepared, I have added in this parameter. And by default, whatever the first value would be, it will show as a default current value. You can change. Let's say I'll change it and make it as a line. So the value will be seen first is a line. The sequence will remain as it is, but the line would be shown as a default value. Click on OK. And that's how our uh, swap parameter is ready. For that, to show this all these values, click on the show parameter from the more option. And you will see, as I told you, the line will be seen, though the sequence will remain same, bar, line, and map. So that's how our swap parameter is ready but as you see there is no connection that it gives any kind of you know link to it uh, so this is my bar chart but to create a kind of a dynamic parameter a uh, whole chart as dynamic view for that you need to create a calculated field so again uh, click on the same more option and click on create calculated field I'll name this field as a swap and what we'll do is we we'll simply drag this swap parameter, click on apply and OK. Now this is our swap calculator field is ready. But what we'll do to make it this whole dynamic, drag this field and put it on the filter. Though it is showing a bar as a swap parameter is, but I'll go with the custom value, a safe for note, because sometimes it happens that select like from the list, it always make it all instead of uh, the specific value. So better you choose and go to custom value list. So here I'll name it as bar. So whenever the bar is there or user select a bar chart, this plus will give you addition. Just writing won't make a difference. Click on plus so it will add over here and then click on apply and okay. So that's how swap, uh, if it is swap is bar, and your swap parameter is bar, both are same, then and then you will see this view because it satisfy the condition. If I say change and make it line, it won't show because 
the swap value here you have given is just a bar nothing else and here the swap parameter is giving line both are not same so that's why it is does not satisfy the condition and you are not able to view that particular view or a particular chart so here is a bar so that's how we made this thing dynamic same thing same uh, calculation and everything we will do it over on line chart as well so what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, and make it show parameter here right now is a bar it is showing a bar over here but now let's say you make it as line still there's no difference because we haven't created dynamic so same procedure drag the swap and put it on the filter and here in the custom value i'll write it as line click on this plus apply okay that's how it line now let's say change it to map it won't show because the condition does not satisfy so that's how we made it and we make sure that every other charts are dynamic and this you have to do it on every other worksheet based on uh, whatever the condition you want okay now for the map again go to this more option show parameter right now is line what i'll do is drag this swap to the filter and here in the custom value i'll mention map plus apply okay condition does not satisfy that word it does not show the state map now change it and make it map it will show so that's how all the three charts we are done and we created this so every other chart so every other worksheet we are done with our settings that uh, making in dynamic and the conditions now go to the dashboard now here i have just put this as a title that's swapping between the sheet if i go on the layout you won't see anything else apart from it swapping and this title so what next drag this vertical and put it over here okay vertical object will make you that everything in a sync in a sequence you can apply so now drag this bar chart over here next to that put line chart and after that put this map now right click on this bar chart and make this title hide line chart as well and that same and for the state map as well right now in the swap parameter is a map so that's why it's just showing the swap but can you see this uh, whole uh, you know area is not occupied is actually uh, it's giving you a kind of an impression that only one sheet is there and it kind of create an illusion to the user on changing the parameter it gives a uh, different sheets are coming up and popping up right so now go to this bar it will give you this bar sheet ready that's what we kept the size okay you can make and change the size as well similarly for the line it is giving you this line chart for the map it is giving you the whole size because we made sure that the uh, map is created in that way you can change and make it this and fit to entire view it will drag it like that if you make it line it will show in this way we can change and fit it to the entire though it is an entire it is also fine but i would say that you can arrange as per your choice and that's how we made this swapping between multiple sheets using parameter i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe